Don't know why I'm drifting, I'm drifting so Out of my mind Hello Gemini's, this is an X reading for you guys for the 22nd through the 29th. This is for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. If you guys are new, welcome. Please like, share, subscribe, comment. Let's see, what's currently going on for your ex? Let's check it out. Page of Wands. Hmm. Showing interest in something. Um, they may have heard some good news even. Um, they're in the initial stages of uh, doing something here. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. Let's see how your ex perceives you. The Emperor, mm, kind of stubborn. Aries energy controlling um, that you're not going to budge that you're not going to uh, try to come towards them initiate any contact um, I get that this person is definitely thinking about initiating contact with you but there, there's a level of intimidation here they may feel intimidated by you and it's probably why they're coming in as a page let's see what your feelings are about getting back together here they're definitely interested in you. Then we have the Empress. Ooh. Yeah. You guys are a couple here, for sure. Um, in the sense that you're coming in very strong in their eyes as the Emperor. And um, their feelings about getting back together as the Empress. This person's, you know, wanting to be there for you. They're wanting, wanting to be um, supportive of you. Care for you and um, start over they want to grow with you so they definitely have a positive outlook on getting back together with you guys here uh, Taurus Libra Aries energy let's see what is blocking this person right now what do they need the fool what they need is to have a little faith that's what they need. Have faith in themselves. Have faith in you guys, in the connection that you share. And um, take that leap. Take that leap. Um, but I feel that this person is... They have a level of stubbornness themselves. I do feel like they do. They have this fiery energy, though. This, this childlike... Um, view of the world uh, what do you call it very lighthearted um, and maybe this person is a little too lighthearted maybe they are um, a little flaky maybe they are somebody that is not realistic in your eyes so you know I'm, I'm getting a lot of things here Maybe they need to be more, for some of you, your person needs to be more lighthearted, more energetic, more willing to take risks for you. Be more of a risk taker, you know? Let's see what their next move is here. What is the ex's next move? What is their next move? Let me take this one, it's standing out. Seven of Wands, they're not doing much here with the Seven of Wands energy. They're defending something here. They're defending their position. They feel like thus far, you know, they're safe where they are. They have actually established some boundaries for themselves. And I think these boundaries that they have established is all because you know they they feel like you guys have been very controlling maybe kind of harsh with them and that you're actually the one that needs to come towards them come their way make an effort um here but let's look a little further and see more about this page of wands energy 
Please show me more about the Page of Wands. The Hanged Man. This person's stuck. Um, they've really just kind of taken their hands off of things here. Feeling like they've done all that they could really do. So that is the reason why they're coming in as a page. They're still interested. Um, and I feel like they will make a move towards you if you made the initial um, gesture towards them. But right now they're just letting things play out the way that, um, you know, they're playing out currently without either one of you interfering. That's Piscean energy there. <clears throat> Please show me more about the Emperor. And we have the Six of Pentacles. They feel like you need to bend a little. Mm -hmm. They want you to bend a little. To have more of a um, relaxed mentality where you're, you're willing to, to give a little, um, to get a little. You know, they want an equal exchange with you. They want you to be more lenient more flexible okay what are their feelings about getting back together oh please show me more about this empress energy here please show me more about the okay I knew something was gonna eventually jump the strength mm -hmm. they're restraining themselves from coming towards you um, I feel like this person's been working hard on their mental state I feel like they've been working hard on um, themselves in general as far as how they are with people how they present to people and the people that they allow you know in their circle they've been showing a lot of restraint and they've been working really really hard um, this person is very very strong I feel they're holding themselves back from you. I feel like you guys are their, um, what do you call it? If anybody can get a rise out of them, you can. You're the person that is basically their match. They've never been, <coughs> excuse me, they, their patience, their just everything, they've never been tried by anybody like they've been tried by you. I'm feeling like this person has been broke, broken down, to be honest with you, and not mentally. I mean, like, made to look at um, every part of themselves. And I definitely feel like they've done that and they've been working on themselves here. Please show me more about this full energy. Please show me more about the full energy. The Knight of Swords. Hmm. I feel like this person, you know, they, they kind of, they're hasty in doing things. Um, it was blocking them. They're, they're probably hasty with their words. Um, they, they, they do things. They act before they really think about it. Or they speak before they really think about it. Both. Um, they don't give very much thought to doing something before they actually do it. That is quite an Aries energy. But um, so maybe they think they should think before they speak. Or they should think before they actually, you know, just jump off a cliff and do something here. Um, like they're a little too spontaneous what I'm feeling. Let's see. Please show me more about the Seven of Wands energy. Please show me more about the Seven of Wands. The Knight of Pentacles. Mm -hmm. See, they've learned. Now they're coming in as the Knight of Pentacles. And what they'll do? Nothing. The Knight of Pentacles is a planner. They lay out everything in front of them before they actually make a move on something because they don't want to make a mistake if they can help it so I definitely get that this person is not moving they're not jumping off that cliff um, they're not just you know blurting out things this person standing their ground and they're waiting on an opportunity an opportune time to speak an opportune time to act is what this person is doing so they're not just doing things haphazardly currently. So we have Leo, Aries is very strong. Um, Aquarius is here. T 
Taurus, uh, Virgo Capricorn energy, Piscean energy. I feel um, Libra's here. And um, yeah, so that is what I have for you guys. And I'll be speaking with you guys soon. Bye now. I've been blind too long, now I finally see The real and fake, who's down for me? The situation wasting my time I had enough, I'm tired of the lies Blah, 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 da-da-da-da-da What are you saying?